Right now on the 10 o'clock news, the wrong way driver accused of killing this Creekside High School graduate will stay behind bars for now. It was the outcome that Trenton Stewart's family was hoping for during a hearing today. The 18-year-old Stetson University football player was killed seven months ago while he was back in town after his freshman year. Ariel Montagudo, who is now in a wheelchair, is charged with vehicular homicide. Police say he slammed his Mercedes head on into Stewart's trailblazer on Old St. Augustine Road back in May. The arrest report said Montagudo was speeding. And News for Jack's reporter Ariel Schiller, Ariel Schiller joins us now with what else Stewart's parents are saying about this hearing and, and really how they want to honor their son's memory. Yeah, you know, this is the first holiday season that the Trenton Stewart's family is spending without him, and it's understandably tough. But his parents say Montagudo's bond reduction being denied is a win for the community. It's about keeping our community safe, and that's what's most important and has been most important to me as a mom from the very beginning. Trenton Stewart's parents, Robert and Mandy, are thankful that Ariel Montagudo's bond reduction was denied Thursday afternoon. His bond is set at $750,000. His lawyer argued the bond was excessive, saying that there's no evidence to prove he can pay it. She argued that if there was a reasonable bond set, Montagudo would live in Jacksonville with his girlfriend and newborn daughter. I understand, Robert, that there's the interest of the community element, but Mr. Montagudo is confined to a wheelchair. Um, he and he said to me that he cannot drive and he has no intention. The state attorney's office argued this is a rare case because Montagudo is facing his second vehicular homicide charge. Montagudo received the first charge in Broward County. He spent 10 years in prison for hitting and killing a person in 2001. He questioned whether Montagudo was unable to walk or drive despite being in a wheelchair. Certainly if he is working and working in a number of other counties and his, his arrests and citations in the past few years are... Orange County, Osceola County, uh, Broward County, as well as Duval County. He's getting around to these counties somewhere, uh, somehow, and that would mean that he is driving. For Trenton's parents, it's difficult to be in the courthouse and in the same room as Montagudo, especially as their first Christmas without him approaches. They say every time they show up to a court hearing, they're honoring their son's memory. Just leaving the world a better place than we found it doing everything that we can, no matter how difficult it is to sit through things like we did today, keeping a focus on scholarships um, and giving back to the community because that's what exactly what he would be doing. The Trenton Stewart Foundation has a goal of advocating for a law in his memory that would require an automatic increase in sentencing guidelines for repeat offenders of vehicular homicide and or DUI manslaughter. The next hearing for Montagudo is scheduled for January 22nd. Reporting live, Ariel Schiller, Channel 4, The Local Station.